Hello and welcome back to another video. In this problem, we're asked to sketch a graph and an example of a function f that satisfies all the given conditions. We have a graph here where we're graphing f of x on the y-axis over x on the x-axis. So we have these two um, values of the function at certain points, so let's put this in first. The value of the function at 3, right, f of 3 is equal to 3. So if we go to x is equal to 3, the value of the function at this x value is equal to 3, so it has a y value of 3. At negative 2, the x value is negative 2, the y value is 1. Now we have some limits. So the limit as x approaches 3 from the right is equal to 4. So the function is going, 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 and then as we get closer and closer to x is equal to 3, it approaches a value of 4, but the function isn't equal to 4, at x is equal to 3, it's equal to 3, so we have an open circle. From the left, the value of the function approaches 2, so a similar situation where it goes, it goes, it goes, and then we have an open circle because it's not actually equal to it. We also have that the limit of the function as x approaches negative 2 is equal to 2. So from the left and the right, as we come closer and closer to this value, the value of the function approaches 2, but it's not actually equal to 2 at that point, it's equal to 1. So that's why we have another open circle. And now we can just plug in, fill out all of these other portions, because they don't matter, because we've satisfied the important points at these limits and these points.